Hi, neighbor Rich here. Welcome to the channel. Anyhow, I've got my uh, God Bless America mug and I am ready to start on another adventure. Um, you know, a lot of people have been writing and uh, saying really nice things and I really appreciate all the comments. Uh, you guys are awesome. And uh, also, you know, one of the things that I've been being asked is, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself. So um, I thought I would let you know just a little bit uh, at this point, and I'll probably do this as we continue on with these videos. But, um, you know, I was born in, in Philadelphia. I grew up in, in South Jersey. Um, the, the thing that I did was, uh, you know, I used to walk to school and I used to walk by a Sunoco station. And that's what kind of really got me started um, looking at cars and understanding and breaking down cars, actually, even. I used to work on cars. And uh, so as a young high school kid, um, I started uh, working at a Sunoco station. And what I did was um, I ended up buying uh, a satellite, a Plymouth satellite is my first car. My first car was actually, it was like a Roadrunner. It was a 383 engine uh, with a four barrel and a four speed. And so it was what you call a sleeper car. Uh, sleeper cars were cars that you would never expect had some horsepower and some kick, but they really did. And I ended up breaking down that engine. I ended up putting in 12.5 pop-up pistons. Uh, I put a 430 rear in it and uh, that sucker could move. And uh, it was really fun to kind of drive that car, but that's what really kind of got me started. The guys at the Sunoco station were awesome. Uh, they were uh, ex-army guys and had worked in the army motor pools and they were really good guys to work with and work for. So, um, but anyhow, that's just a little bit about me. And um, now we're gonna get started on today's upload. Today's upload is gonna be really interesting because what we're doing is we're gonna get a behind the scenes look at Inchain's design. Um, I know a lot of you, you know, look at that site, you, a lot of you buy uh, things from that site. And um, the, the, the thing that is really interesting is that, uh, you know, Shane, who I've known for about four years, is really a good guy. And I am going to actually go over there today and uh, take a look at, you know, some of the behind the scenes stuff that you guys maybe not have seen yet. Well, let's see. We've got uh, a couple of vehicles to choose from. We've got a Z06. Um, we have a, a John Deere tractor. Uh, which is a uh, very very much fun to drive and we have a Honda Accord touring hybrid and so let's see which one of these should I take um, it's a tough choice but I think I've made up my mind A quick stop at Dunkin Donuts for some of my friends at Inchain. So uh, let me get this started. Um, I will uh, get the donuts out of the trunk. There we go. And it's a little windy out here today, but okay, got that shut. Ready to oh look at this uh, there's a surprise I had no idea that uh, street speed was going to be up here but I think it's pretty obvious with the gorgeous wrap on this car uh, whose this is um, it is just gorgeous I hope you can really get a good view of this because this is I love this wrap I think this is just such an awesome awesome looking car uh, wow so Actually, my car, it's kind of interesting. Uh, my car, the first time that I even got my car, uh, what I did, as soon as I got it, I brought it up here basically, and I got it expelled in the front of the car. Um, you know, having a Corvette, and you guys know this, it's low to the ground, can get chips in the front very, very easily. And that's what ends up happening. You end up getting some chips and then you're like sick about it. So uh, the first thing I wanted to do was have it expelled and I came right up here to um, Inchain's Designs to uh, get that done and taken care of so that uh, my car was a little protected anyway and uh, hopefully would make it so that, uh, you know, I could drive it without feeling so uncomfortable sometimes. So, um, all right, let's, uh, let's go inside. All right, well, hi, thank hi. you for opening the door. There are some donuts for you thank and the crew. You. You're you. welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> So I guess uh, everybody is upstairs probably. 
So we'll head upstairs and uh, see who we can find. So the uh, main offices for uh, InChain Designs are up on a, a second floor level. And uh, we'll uh, get to that in a minute. But uh, right now, I just want to introduce you to uh, Holly. Here is Holly. Um, Holly is the general manager here at InChain Designs. And uh, she actually is the one that makes it run like clockwork. And so we're so happy. She's actually going to actually walk us around a little bit and give us a little tour of the facility. So um, with that, I guess we'll uh, take a look at uh, the, the, the place. Yeah. So this is my office. Okay. Which is where I'm stuck most of the time. And then we have designer and videographer offices upstairs. And then down here we have um, another designer, operations manager, break room. The cubicles are mostly customer service or anybody else that stops by, like our IT guys that work out of office for when they're here so they have a place to work. And then we have this way is packing stations. We have two different sets and then of course the whole picking floor. Wow. Wow. Wow, this is really a lot of space, and it's, uh, lot. it's unbelievable how much room is in this facility. Uh, it's it's gigantic, really. It seems like a lot until you have to figure out where to put everything. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, we have production back here. We have our printers. Yeah. Our laminator. Yeah. Our workspace. The plotters. Yeah. Um, all the posters, any kind of vinyl that we have in the Uh huh. And then over here on this side, which is originally where you had your whole operation, right? Mm -hmm. So this is where we do, yeah, this is the original space. So this is primarily install for automotive at this point um, in inventory where we receive everything in, whether it's blanks and then we send it to a vendor or get it back. And then this is what fills that floor. So. Awesome. That's awesome. Well, thank you, Holly. I You're really welcome, appreciate Rich. it. You have a wonderful day. Thanks, you too. Thanks. Well, we're on the uh, wrap side of InChain Designs. And uh, honestly, we're going to get to get a little bit of a sneak peek at the new uh, giveaway that has just been announced. This is uh, still a work in progress, as you can see. And uh, here are the guys <laughs> diligently working on this, uh, this new Ram truck. Look at that, man. That is like super awesome. And this is going to be a really cool giveaway. And oh, hey, man. there's my favorite videographer. Oh yeah. Andrew. Andrew, man, you're like the best guy in the state. Like Absolutely. how are you how are you doing? Yeah. Curtis. Curtis is actually hiding. Curtis. Seriously, dude. Oh, what? You're hiding? Oh no no you're no. I was just I was just checking. I thought there was a fuel leak. You're from... yeah, like yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You're oh. You were hiding, dude. You you didn't want Neighbor Rich to get you on on I don't his know channel. What you're talking about. This is this is the Neighbor Rich channel, dude. You gotta get on this. I I, I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> yeah, well, that makes two of us. We're here with uh, Neighbor Rich, and we're gonna ask him the tough questions because everyone wants questions. to know uh -oh. what's really happening with Neighbor Rich and Street Speed Seven One Seven. Are they working together? Are they collaborating? Is Mike the one who's feeding him his uh, YouTube titles? Uh, no, Mike is not feeding me my YouTube tri titles, but I have read enough of them that I kind of get the idea of how, how to do those. And, um, you know, Street Speed and I, we are great neighbors and friends, but I mean, obviously, you know, I'm starting a channel. He's got a channel. He will be uh, an interviewee at some point. I guess everyone behind the camera understands that you actually stole Mike's Vader truck. That That is correct. I, I am kind of known for doing little silly pranks and that was certainly one of them. Uh, I kind of had an idea that uh, somebody was gonna come over to pick the truck up and uh, I had the opportunity. I walked over and uh, was able to just steal the truck. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I think Mike was a little ticked at me, but um, we, you know, we had a laugh about it after that and uh, it was all good. Wow, you're really blown away when you look at how much merchandise is in this place. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff from uh, barbecue chips to car cleaners and all kinds of things that uh, you can get. And honestly, uh, these giveaways are really awesome. Um, certainly there's a lot, a lot of products and things that you can get. And just go to www.inchainedesigns.com uh, to enter to hopefully win a, a truck or a car and uh, also some cash. 
Uh, but of all the merchandise that's here, I gotta admit, uh, my favorite is right here. And uh, that is one awesome looking shirt. All right, we're uh, standing just outside of uh, Shane's office, and uh, now we're gonna talk to the man himself. And so with that, uh, let's see, Shane is in his office. Hey man, how you doing? Good to see you, man. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. Enjoying yep. this day? Yeah, oh yeah, it's a great day. It really, really is. So, you know, I, I was thinking about it, and you know, I think we've known each other for about five years now. It's just amazing how fast time goes by. How fast it's been. It's incredible. And in those five years, there's been such a change to everything it with at in Shane's design. I'm just amazed. I don't even think I can remember the past five years. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know, I mean, honestly, to get this, you know, behind the scenes view of, of you and, and the operation here and everything is really amazing. But, you know, the thing I wanted to ask is like, how did you start out? Like, what, what gave you the, the idea to just start your own business? I mean, that's such yeah. a bold move. Dude, that's, that's the number one question. So yeah, you really want to know how it all started? Yeah. It started, uh, I used to work for a installation company. Okay. Um, we just installed graphics. Yeah. And then removed graphics. So it was like on uh, commercial trucks, uh, a lot of tractor trailer work. I was in a lot of grease based shops. And it wasn't until my old employer got a contract with a retail gig. Okay. So we actually, uh, he signed on with a, a, a retail company. Uh, it was just a middleman. Yeah. And then they hired us to go do installs for like Nike, Adidas, wow. Taylor, all the big high-end retail shops you see in the big cities. So uh, we handled um, DC, yeah, uh, Georgetown, DC. So okay. the Nike in Georgetown yeah. was one of our Oh stores. yeah, that's a big store. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it was interesting because they would always, Nike would always set up this elaborate display. Now is that what gave you the, 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 the vision to like then at some yeah. point like start your own business? Yeah. This is so, amazing. Yeah, so uh, I always thought that was real cool. Yeah. I always thought like we got to see the inside, like behind the scenes, like all the the corporate offices talking with yeah. like the on-site guys from Nike. Yeah. So I got to pay attention. I got to see it from you know behind the scenes, and then I got to see it whenever you know everything's live. So, sure. Yeah. It, I mean, I was intrigued. I was like, <laughs> this is insane. What a what an interesting story. And you know, there's just so much more to tell. I'm sure. But you know, I know you're a Corvette guy. You have a couple of Corvettes, and uh, I'm really excited about that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I definitely uh, bought. I was able to. Well, first off, let's get into how I got into Corvettes. Okay. I mean, we got to go there. Right? Yeah, sure. All right. So everybody thinks like Mike and I knew each other before, you know, the days of In Shannon Street. Yeah, Street. yeah. Well, you grew up I, in this area, yeah, though, right? I grew up in this area. So yeah. did he. But yeah. even though I was like 20 minutes up the road, there's no way we ever crossed paths. Okay. So it wasn't until uh, Troy, um, Mike yeah. reached out to Troy, asked him if he knew any PPF guys, and uh, Troy gave him my contact. And uh, I'm sure you guys remember the video where I wrapped his car with paint protection film in his, in his garage. So that was the day that, you know, Mike and I met. Um, the Corvettes sort of, it was always, uh, you know, everybody loves Corvettes. Yeah. Who doesn't, right? Oh, heck yeah. So yeah, it wasn't until after that. I mean, we started getting calls for, you know, Corvette owners wanting the same thing, which we knew Corvettes, Porsches, are the top two manufacturers that everybody has to get PPF. So they're mm -hmm. the best. Uh, car family to be a part of so I obviously Corvettes was pretty much there on my lap um, I decided I wanted to focus on just yeah. Corvettes until yeah. I wanted to work on Corvettes until I was able to buy my own so I did that I just started working because I, I was inspired I love the car it's a great canvas it looks cool yeah I don't really have to do much yeah. I can do a cool design and it's yeah. already cool yeah so it was a great platform so yeah, <clears throat> fast forward like three years later, I mean, we just ran through a, a bunch of C7s. Corvettes at Carlisle became our number one event. And then we just started you know, evolving into the Corvette family. And then uh, I purchased my first Corvette. And your second Corvette. And my second Corvette. <laughs> so I'm a lifer. <laughs> yeah, I love them both. They're both two different animals. Um, one of the things that people need to, uh, might not know about me is 
I'm all design. Like, I'm not the horsepower kind of guy. I'm not under the uh, hood type of guy. Right, like somebody we like, know. Yeah, like, like somebody like we know. If, if, if it wasn't for Mike, <laughs> that C7 <laughs> probably wouldn't have any work done to it because with the wheels and tire setup He's, I have set up on it, it's not even worth putting that power down. He is trying to push me now, and I am nervous about it. I'll tell you right now. Oh, yeah. So Mike's like, oh, yeah, you got to do this. You got to do that. Oh, it's nothing. It won't be that. Next thing you know, it's like, hold on. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. the car's just out of control. So yeah, no, that one was uh, the C7, obviously the, the, the platform it is, it had to yeah, put a little yeah, power yeah, underneath, yeah, but yeah, still got the yeah. design. Then the C8, C8, this was actually, you know, something new as a designer. Um, it led me to want to create an aero kit package for it. One of the things is like, yeah, I mean, the real, what, what made me want to do that is the, the, the C8, uh, kit you get from factory I mean I saw right away they drill a hole right in the side of the side rocker like at least like four or five inches off and I was like dude there's no way you're drilling I don't want that kit yeah sure I was like I'll take the kit I did buy the kit but I told Beaver at Wimler I was like do not drill the <laughs> hole in the side rocker because I'm I'm gonna eventually create my own so then you know That's obviously incredible. yeah the C8 the C7 I mean, they got Ferrari tendons. In this. Oh yeah, Heck so yeah. I, I I automatically looked at the Ferrari 488 and I was like, hey, I could probably create something that makes it look a little bit more like that. That's simple, clean lines as a as an aero kit package. And, and GM got really excited about this, and they actually held a meeting with you. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh, well, back in 2020, uh, the design team. Uh, Corvette design team invited me out to consult on a few projects. It wasn't for the it wasn't for the aero kit I'm not allowed to discuss what it was about, but yeah I had a meeting with them got to got to meet the whole crew. They're freaking awesome and the the, the best thing about that experience um, Is you know you go in you always go into something Always expecting like, you know, this is just business. It's you know your, your nerves are your anxiety running through your butt those guys made me feel like I yeah. was a part of the team awesome. as soon as we walked in. So yeah. the best experience was, you know, them, all the whole team made me feel like I was a part of the team. Well, that'll do it for another upload of uh, the Neighbor Rich channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you subscribe and you click that like button. And for the positive thought for the day, here's what I want to leave you with. Believe in yourself. You can do it. And if you believe in yourself, you know, you'll live your best life. So don't let anybody hold you down. Go for it. So this is Neighbor Rich. Again, a 60-some-year-old starting a YouTube channel. But I really believe you believe in yourself. You can make it happen. Have a great day. I'll talk to you in the next one.